front of the house, she says, uh, hey, Dad, what is this? And she says, it's really big. And I'm like, yeah, it's a common moth around here. It's called the Rusty Sphinx. And uh, I did not decide to make this video and call it a tomato hormone video because that's what they're more, really, these moths are in their caterpillar stage. And they're really cool to watch. They're very destructive though. Okay. Let me get to the video. There's a couple of tomato hornworms. I guess just just turned into caterpillars. It's sure, it's another sign of like finding these things is just seeing the holes and leaves like this. And this just happens to be a tomato plant. So, um, you know, I'm going to let this one grow, these grow, just to see, just to follow the process. I'll be able to find these ones easily on this tomato plant. Yeah. Three days, three days of letting this thing grow. Look at the size of it, how big that got. Made a hornworm. Look at the damage it's doing. Look back out. That's just one leaf. He's got his uh, brother on the one over here somewhere. They're tag teaming. Oh, here he is. Almost invisible, right? Zoom in on that a little bit. The damage they do is incredible. I'm just letting this, uh, letting them grow today, for now, because I want to see, I want you to see how big they get. I'll probably lose this tomato plant. Well, it's been a week since I've seen these hornworms. I, I don't know where they went. They just kind of disappeared. So I'm assuming either a, a bird ate them. It's very nice that birds that do things like that for you or um, they buried themselves in the ground. I'm really curious, so I'm just gonna dig a little hole here and see if I could find, uh, and, and see if they went down here. It's been very hot, by the way. 115 degrees a couple of times. Let's see, let me start digging. It's turned up fruitless, but that doesn't mean it's for sure. They're gonna wait till uh, these tomato plants expire and find out, sure. Or, Whatever, maybe uh, I'll get other evidence, but for now, it looks like they're gone. Uh, I guess thank you to my, my wonderful birds in the neighborhood. Yeah, these tomato hornworms work. They, they just keep getting, you know, you know, I see them. I see the, the plant, the leaves just disappearing. And like, you know, and it's like, like they're invisible, you know. I found this guy a minute ago. Try to find him again. See, he disappeared on me already. Oh, no, I'm gonna get him. Well, anyway, he's in here, I'm gonna find him. And there's another one right here that just like, totally disappeared on me. And he's gonna tear apart this one. This pepper plant. I'm gonna get close up on his face. It's his face. Believe it or not, that's his mouth. So these guys, these guys gotta get picked off. Get them freaking nasty tails on them, you know? They won't come off, I think I'm gonna rip him in half before I even get him off. And there he goes. Ugh. Disgusting. Try to poke me with his little freaking poker. They say that those things uh, can't hurt you, but I won't find out if that little thing's gonna stick in my finger or not. Anyway, he's gonna be a goner in a minute. All right, I found him. There he is. Invisible in there. Right, look at that. Look at the destruction he did, maybe in a night, one night or so. He's out of there. Okay, I got him. 
So he blends right into that thing. And now he's, he's on the move again. So I'm gonna put him down here with his buddy. Probably his uh, same family. They're two different colors. It's camouflage. They're cool. Alright, so I spotted some leftovers that turd from uh, it looks to be um, a tomato hornworm. And I looked on the plant. Alright, so this plant, the leaves are all gone. So I found them. How invisible that is. Alright? I'm gonna, I don't know why the heck he's eating this instead of tomatoes, but I guess he likes uh, likes the hot stuff. His mama likes the hot stuff. So, Chris, I am going to leave him one more day and see how big he gets in one day. You see him right there? Just sucking away on the leaves on this thing. It's hot peppers. And these peppers, are their they're annuals like grow very strong, so... We'll give them a little bit more munchies and I'll get rid of them. But remember, when you see turds like this, you see spots like this, investigate your plants. And, and you know, usually turds, they're usually bigger than, when they get bigger than that, you, you really see them. But when you see them, you know, you, you got a, uh, an issue. I mean, it blends right in with that pepper right there. Amazing stuff. Looking further, fun. Look at this. Unbelievable. Another one, right in plain view. Come on, you get off. He's gone. All right, and if, it's, if those if the male hornworms aren't bad enough, look at other things. These leaves, now, these leaves are getting eaten. What are the caterpillars? And that's a little, a little moth larva, larva, larva. Oh, he's squinching up. He's trying to get, oh. I think I uh, oh, no, I got him still here. I'm gonna get him and take him off and show you real good and close. Alright, wait, right. go see. He knows I'm here. He's like, what the heck just happened? Oop, bye bye. Gotta get rid of them. There's no other way, but you see these little holes, that's when you know you got issues with um, usually caterpillars. And they're just they're just the moths. See and, and you need leaves so you can the plants come out by this one nice little leg plant in there. So on I look. Every day I watch, every day I look. 